Hello and welcome to another system programming video lecture series and we are covering shell commands in Linux. Today we are going to cover 8 most useful and advanced examples of MV command to move files and directories. In this session I will discuss the details of different examples for the MV command as well as I will do the experiments also by using the Linux operating system. So in, in order to do the experiments I will turn on the Linux machine that is actually a cloud server. So the first example is if you want to move a file from your current location to a subdirectory then you have to use mv space file name space the folder or directory name wherever you want to move this file. So let's try before trying this command let's see what files and folders I have at the current location. So I will use ls command to list out the directories and files and you can see over here I have right now different uh, files including p10.txt. Uh, p1.txt, p3.txt and p5.txt. I will use one of the file named uh, p1.txt and will try to move to a subdirectory named f2. So let's try this command. I will use mv space file name that is p1.txt space the location where I want to move that is f2 and then slash. In order to move to this subdirectory you need to make sure that you will have slash at the end of the subdirectory otherwise f2 will be considered as the file name. So let's try to execute this command and you can see there is no error and it has been executed successfully. In order to verify that the file has been really moved you can use ls command at the current location and see p1.txt is no more part of the current list. In order to further verify that p1.txt is moved to f2 folder also then you can use ls space f2 directory name and enter and you can see now p1.txt is part of the directory f2. So that was the first command. Now the next command is if you want to move a file from your current directory to anywhere and you want to give a specific name for that case you can run this same command but you can add the file name at the end of the folder name. So let's try this command also and I will try to move the file p3.txt from the current location to f2 folder again but I will add the file name also. So let's try mv space file name that is p3.txt and the destination folder that is f2 slash and now I can mention the file name by my own. I can give the same name or I can give a new name also. So let's try to give the name to this direct uh, this file p2.txt. Instead of p3.txt it will be added to folder or directory f2 with name p2.txt having the same contents. So let's execute this command and you can see there is no error and in order to verify that this file has been moved you can check by using ls and you can see the file p2.txt is no more in the current list. If you want to check the folder f2 also you can use ls space f2 and you can see that in the directory f2 you have a new file with name p2.txt while in the current folder it was p3.txt. So we moved a file and we given a new name also. Normally in Windows or uh, iOS we used to rename the files also. Over here in Linux if you want to rename the file you can use the mv command also and you can just use mv space existing file name space the new file name and by this way you can change the name of any file. So let's try to apply this command. I will try to rename the file p10.txt with the name p11.txt. So let's try with the p11. So I will use mv space p10.txt space the new name I want to give it p11.txt. If I enter and then if I will use ls command you can see p10 is no more over here and you have a file named p11.txt. So by this way you can rename the file name by using the mv command also. So that was the third command. Next command is uh, if you want to move a file from your current location to any location of the system directories or anywhere else then you have to use uh, the destination path as absolute path. So how you can add the absolute path you have to start with the slash that is the root path and then the onward path you have to add it and then you will be able to move this file. So let's try to see what is my current path and then based on the current path I will try to generate an absolute path for folder 2 and we will try to move the file p5.txt 
from my current location to uh, to folder F2 by using the absolute path. I can use PWD command to check my current path. Yeah. That is slash home slash EC2 user. And now if I want to move p5.txt from my current directory, I will use mv space, the file name that I want to move, that is p5.txt. And where I want to move, I will use the absolute path that is slash home slash ec2 user slash the directory name that is f2 so right now i am testing this example by using the absolute path and we are trying to move the file to directory f2 and i we are going to keep the same file name as it is existing and i am not testing this example by using any system directories or at the root location because i don't want to move uh, these files but if you want to move the file anywhere in the system files or at the root location or any root folder, you can move it as you want, but you need to have the admin permissions in order to test this example. So let's execute this command. And if you want to verify, you can use ls. And you can see over here, f5.txt is no more part of my current location. And if you want to verify in folder f2, you can use ls space f2. And you can see p2.txt has been moved to your directory f2 so that was the fourth example next example is if you want to move a file from anywhere of your operating system to your current directory then you have to use mv command space the full absolute path along with the file name and then space the new file name at the current location and by this way you will be able to move so let's suppose i want to move the file p1.txt from f2 folder or directory to my current directory or current location. If you will use the relative path, then you can move the uh, file from your child or sub-child directory to your current path, but you cannot move a file from anywhere else. So I will do the three examples for this case. So let's try to move the file p1.txt from f2 by using the absolute path to your current directory. So I will use mv space slash home slash ec2 dash user slash the folder name f2 slash the file name that i want to move p1.txt space the new file name that i want to give at the current directory i will give the same name and that's it now if i will execute this command uh, press enter you can see it has been executed and if you will use ls command you can see now the p1.txt is part of the current directory which is moved from directory f2 to current directory by using the absolute path. In order to verify that it has been moved from f2, you can use ls space f2 and you can see over here p1.txt is no more part of it. Now let's suppose you want to move p2.txt from directory f2 to your current folder by using relative path. If you want to use the relative path, then you have to use mv space dot slash f2 slash p2 dot text space the new file name. I will give p2 dot text the same file as it was in f2 and enter and then use ls to verify and you can see p2 dot text is now part of the current directory. There is another example that we can test it that if you want to move a file named p5.txt from folder f2 to somewhere else, not at my current directory, then you have to use either absolute path of our source location as well as you have to use the absolute path of your destination uh, location. Or for both cases, you can use relative paths also if source and destination folders are relative to your current path. So let's use the relative path to move the file p5.txt from your folder or directory f2 to your home folder. So for this example, I will use mv space the relative path dot slash f2 slash the file name that is p5.txt. I don't want to move at my current directory. I want to move to my parent directory that is slash home. I, I can use dot dot slash the file name p5.txt this is one way by using the relative path i will do the same example by using absolute path also so let's execute this example first enter and they are saying permission denied because i don't have permissions 
to create or move a file to, to my home directory. So in order to run this example, I need to use sudo command at the start. So I will use sudo space mv space dot slash f2 space p5 dot text space dot dot like my parent directory slash p5 dot text and by this way execute this command and now you can see the command has been executed without any issue let's use ls command to check from my parent directory that it has been moved there or not so i will use ls space dot dot slash and you can see over here that is now the parent directory not the current directory that there is a file at home folder with name p5.txt in the same way if you want to check directory f2 also you can use ls space f2 and you can see there is no file in f2 directory because we moved all the files from there now let's try to move the file from your home location now let's test another example to move the file p5.txt from the home directory or from the parent directory to folder f5 and we will use the absolute path so for this case i will use mv space the absolute path of p5.txt that is in the home directory it will be slash home slash the file name p5.txt slash where i want to move i want to move to f5 so i will use slash home slash ec2 dash user that is uh, my current directory absolute path slash i will use the folder name f5 and i want to give the name p11 dot text okay just enter and now again it is saying you don't have permission so i need to run this one with sudo so i will add at the start sudo okay now it has been moved and in order to verify you can use ls space dot 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 uh, slash and you can see p5.txt is no more part of your home directory and you will have a new file with name p11.txt inside the f5 so you can use ls space for f5 and you can see p11 is now part of the directory f5 so that was the number fifth example now the next one is if you want to move multiple files by using a single command so you can use mv space the files that you want to move so let's see right now at my current directory i have the file p1 p2 and p11 so let's try to move all these files to a directory so i will try to create a new directory where we will try to move it so i will use mkdir space f7 i will create the new directory and now i will try to move all these three files at my current location to directory f7 so i will use mv space the file names p1.txt p2.txt p11.txt so i will use single command to move these three files by giving the name and then the directory name wherever i want to move so it is f7 slash so enter and you can see now by using the ls command that all those three files are no more part of my current location and if you will use ls space f7 to verify the files inside f7 all these three files will be available there inside the f7 directory so that was number seven command now if you want to move all the files not selected files all the files from your current directory to another directory then you can use mv space the directory name from where you want to move the files either from current directory or a specific directory space the new directory name wherever you want to move those files so let's create another file so let's create another directory with name f8 and we will try to move all the files which are part of directory f2 to directory f8 so mkdir space f8 to create the new directory and then ls you can see f8 is now part of uh, my current location and then try to move all the files of f2 to f8 i will use mv space f2 slash star so i need to add the star after the slash of uh, the source uh, directory which will allow to move all the files from the source directory space the new directory dot slash f8 or i can even write down f8 it, it is same thing and then at the end you have to make sure you will add the slash 
so not execute this command in this command did not execute it because i don't have any file inside f2 so let's try to move the files from not f2 instead of f2 i will try to move the files from f5 because i have some files in f5 you can tell, check it by using ls space f5 and i have four files over there so let's try to change it from f2 to f5 so i will use mv space f5 slash star new directory name that is f8 slash and enter and now you can see the command has been executed successfully and in order to verify you can use ls space f5 and you will see there is no file inside f5 and in order to check for f8 you can use ls space f8 and you can see over here that all the four files have been moved to directory f8 so that was the example number seven the last example is that if you want to move a file from uh, source uh, location to a destination location and you want to display a message that the file has been moved or not you can pass the argument minus v that is verbose and you can display the message by this way so i will use mv space minus v the argument space the file that i want to move so let's suppose i want to move file uh, p1.txt from folder f8 to my current directory so i will use f8 slash p1.txt space p1.txt so it will be moved and given the name p1.txt so enter and you can see over here a message has been displayed that is f8 f8 slash p1.txt arrow p1.txt so that's, that shows that the file has been moved and if you check or compare the previous commands in previous commands we never seen such messages so that was the last example and that is the end of this session if you like my video click on the like button and don't forget to share this video thank you